So now that we've looked at the basic discovery process, let's take a look at a listing and actually go through the order process a little bit here. So I'm gonna go with this uh, Real Fake Doors, which is uh, clearly posted by someone who's a fan of Rick and Morty. And uh, since I had no schmeckles today, I just had Bitcoin, I'm gonna use that to buy one of these Real Fake Doors. Keep in mind, of course, that this is a joke listing and uh, this is just here for the purpose of demonstrating how the whole system works during the beta test of OpenBazaar. And in, in the future, of course, these will be real legitimate actual products. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna click buy now. You can see I, there's some reviews so far and three reviews and it's rated five out of five. So again, very similar to looking at another place like eBay or something where you might have some kind of a sense of what's the quality of the product and how well it's reviewed, things like that. So you can make a more informed buying decision. And below that, you'll see a more complete description of the product, which again, being a demonstration, it's not very, very long, but in a real listing, it would be a more complete, longer description. You can click on reviews and you can see more details about how those reviews break down in terms of quality, if it matched the description, delivery speed, customer service, and that sort of thing. And uh, shipping and return policy. So I'm just gonna click buy now. And the first time you do this, it's gonna ask you if you have a Bitcoin wallet and gives you the option of setting one up. If you click no, this will give you a link to some different wallets that they are recommending but I have a wallet, so I'm just gonna click that. And I am given the choice, recommended, but it is optional, of using a moderator, which is a third party arbiter, who essentially your payment is held in, an, in a form of escrow with what's called multi-sig, where all three people, who all the people involved have to basically sign off and say, yes, everything was a happy um, transaction. And so you can choose and keeping in mind that if you do choose a moderator, then you pay whatever it is that their fee is. But you do also have the option of a direct payment, which involves zero fees. But I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna click moderated payment here. And I guess I will select of the two, I will select super Bitcoiner because they have a at least moderately cheaper fee. Now, uh, keep in mind, right now there are barely any moderators, but as Open Bazaar grows and, and goes out to the mainstream, there will be many, many, many moderators, and so you will have comp competition, and that will drive the price down, and essentially the people who are the best and most trusted moderators will be able to, to charge a bit more, but you can always shop around and go with someone less expensive. So I'm gonna hit next, and on this step of the order process, I need to supply them with a refund address. So I need to give them a Bitcoin address where if there's a refund or there's an issue and the moderator says, okay, yes, clearly the real fake door was never delivered. So let's give you a refund. They need to be able to do that to an address because Bitcoin, unlike for example, Visa or something like that, there is no way of reversing a transaction. So you need to have an address to send it back to. So I'm just gonna paste in the address I'm using for the wallet I'm using for these, with a test net uh, Bitcoin that I'm using for this, these, these demos. So I'm now gonna hit next and I'm gonna tell it where to ship to. Now, if this was not a physical product, I would not have to provide a shipping address. And this is another one of the benefits of using OpenBazaar is privacy. And if you're buying a digital product, then you do not need to be able to have to actually provide necessarily even your real name. So for the sake of this, since I am uh, just gonna order this, I'm just gonna put in some fake info. And so I filled out a uh, not very serious address here. And let's save. Okay, and now that I have filled out an acceptable uh, now that I filled out an address, I can select it and click free because it's free shipping. And I'm taken to an order details page and I can pay for the order. 
And then after a brief pause, you will be brought to a screen that looks something like this. At the top, you can see it tells me how much to send. And right below that is a Bitcoin address that I can send it to. Now, obviously that is a long string of letters and numbers uh, with capitals and lowercase, and you have to get everything exactly right. So to make things easier, you have a button that says copy to clipboard below that. And I can click that. And if I go then go into my Bitcoin wallet on a computer, I can paste the address in and then type in the amount. Or I can click the button below that that says open in local wallet, which will actually automate the process and open up the program on my computer, the wallet program, and fill out all the information for me. And then all I have to do is hit send. And then the, what, the way I'm gonna do it though is I'm gonna use a mobile wallet. And I've got some Bitcoin te test money loaded up on my phone here in a mobile wallet. And I'm gonna hit the button right now to scan this QR code. That's the square that you see on the left side of the screen there and I put in the amount and I'm gonna hit send. It asked me if I wanna confirm, I do, and it's sent. And then almost immediately you see payment sent and from that point, the order has been filled. This is just the same as if you've just completed a, an, a credit card payment, for example, on Amazon or some other website. And so from this point, you then have, if it's a physical good, it's gonna be shipped to you and everything else is just the same as you would expect from a traditional merchant.